Hello everybody, welcome to this playthrough for Master Division in the St. Patrick's Tournament. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And before we start, don't forget to press the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and be a subscriber here to this channel. Also go to the newly relaunched GolfClashTommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. Last but not least, get the best tournament text guides on the market by being a subscriber to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy link in the description down below in this video you will see my shots and my shots only I'm showing you shots with Kingmaker I'm showing you shots with special balls I'm also showing you a lot of drives with Apocalypse level 5 to actually show that it is possible to play this tournament in Master with Apocalypse level 5 in my opinion playing with Apocalypse level 5 won't give you that much of a disadvantage except for hole number 3 but hole number 3 is not really an albatross hole either so in the end I think you will do very very well with uh, in master with apocalypse level 5 let me know if you do have any questions in the comment section below use the info box on the right hand side to get the elevation or at least the elevation that I play with the ball and the club that I would suggest you to use so let's go to hole number one For hole number one, we are going to play with our snipers, so make sure to change to that bag. And then we're going to play with a win five, power one ball. Very important. And now we're looking for a landing spot without adding spin. So we're going to look for the white ring by the rough at the bottom right and the blue ring at the top by the other rough there. And then the ball guideline going past the pin on the right hand side. After that, we're going to change and add spin. So we're going to then play with two bars of backspin and three and a half bar side spin to the left. But have in mind that this is not something that we should be doing because we're gonna miss left. So the thing that I would like you to do is to adjust with less side spin. So in my book here, I do think that the per perfect spin adjustment would be 2.2 backspin and 2.8 side spin to the left. And the reason I say that is because I do believe that we came in a bit too hot here and you know a smidge too hot in my opinion and that is what makes me saying those adjustments for hole number one. For hole number two we are going to play with a power three ball. Doesn't have to be a kingmaker, it can be a centurion, it can be a three point ball, it can also be a burns ball if you do want to reduce the wind even more. Max top spin, which is going to be six bars here with apocalypse level five. If you do have an apocalypse level six, seven or eight, you are still going to use max top spin. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment, then we're going to push up our target into max and then it's time to take our shot. And here, when playing with an Apocalypse level five or level six, I would go with a little bit of overpower here, like the one displayed here on the video. If I do have an Apocalypse level seven or level eight, I would stay away from using overpower altogether. And the reason for that is obviously we get more control if not using overpower. And we're looking for a yardage mark that's going to be 430 yard approximately now we got to 433 and the thing that i do here in this video is that i'm going to try to go for the rough bump and here it would be more beneficial to play with the hornet if you're gonna do for, go for the rough bump if you're planning to just bounce on the fairway just above the rough which is a very viable option then you can use the thorn there as well it's up to you to choose whatever you feel the com most comfortable with i have not been deciding yet which way I'm going to go, if I'm going to go rough bump or if I'm going to just play normal and bounce on the fairway. We will see what happens going forward in the tournament. Nonetheless though, we are still going to be close no matter what option we are choosing. Now we slightly, slightly under adjust this shot and just miss left hand side. I'm not using any elevation whatsoever for the second shot. For hole number three, we are going to play full freaking blast. We are going to try to get as far down as possible, meaning that we do want to bounce on the fairway into the rough and roll out using max top spin and three 
left spin. And the thing that I do not think about here is that there is a longer way to the rough if we hit the fairway more on the left hand side, which we're gonna do here. And especially now with a great left and side spin to the left as well. And now we get dangerously close, not rolling through the rough. So the thing that we are going to aim for is that we are going to move our landing position more right. And we're also going to use three bars of side spin right. So we're going to aim for the right corner of the fairway or uh, the rough slash fairway there instead. That will make us roll out much more smoothly through the rough and then we're going to have an easier time for the second shot. Four top spin, four and a half bar side spin to the right. Now we are in complete maximum distance here of our shot and then I would play this one maximum distance with no over on or under adjustment and we're going a little bit too little here that is very noticeable because a 14.2 miles per hour here we need a little bit more adjustment we come in here though with a good speed but we do miss that one on the right hand side so we need to give it the full adjustment there and just rely on the fact that we actually will get it close tough par 5 but there is definitely a way making an albatross on this one b52 definitely um the better club here especially if you have it in level 7 level 8 if you have it in level 6 that, that one and the goliath you can basically choose between because it has the same ball guideline 10% for the drive nothing for the second shot For hole number four, we are going to play with the quarterback and then have the sniper as a wood club. The reason we want to have the sniper is because we do want to find minimum distance line. Look, so we are putting 4.8 bars backspin and then make sure that we are in minimum distance. Ball guideline through the hole and then we're going to adjust for a minimum distance with a 20% over adjustment power zero ball setting so even though we're playing with a power two ball here like the aurora or turkey or arrow ball rugby ball there is plenty of them nowadays then we're still going to adjust with a power zero ball setup minimum distance and now we're going to get close or we're gonna get it in the hole boom <laughs> For hole number five, I do think we're gonna come to the best opportunity in uh, this tournament, like, or at least where I feel if we don't get an eagle here, we're definitely going to lose a shot or a stroke compared to our opponents. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment using six top spin and max a right side spin with a vintage ball. Half a ball of curl to the right, and then we're going to release. Obviously, if you do play with an apocalypse level six, seven, eight, don't go max over power. It will be enough to play with approximately 25% to 50%, which is around two to four rings of total over power. Maximum distance, 10% over adjustment. Second shot, we're going to adjust for the pin. And here you can see that we do have almost a dead on straight headwind. And now it is very important that you make sure that you, every single time you're playing this shot, unlike this hole, that you measure your club range and also make a note of yardage. Because with a perfect ball, with the drive all the time, you will be able then to dial it in from distance. Obviously you can dial it in with a great ball, but at the same time with a great ball left or great ball right, you will slightly change your position uh, like if you do measure towards the pin. So a great right, you will be closer. Great left, you will be further away. And then a perfect, obviously, somewhere in between. We hit perfect and we just let that one out on the left hand side. But in the end, super good opportunity. Ball guideline to the hole, no spin whatsoever. You either play with the thorn or the hornet. No elevation for the second shot. For a hole 6 and the toughest hole in the tournament, we are going to play with an apocalypse in some sort and then with the cataclysm as our second club. Now we're going to start with 6 bars of top spin and as much side spin to the left possible. Maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment starting at plus 8 yard mark. Once you have adjusted for max plus 20, you're going to notice that we go into overpower. And the overpower that we are going to use is going to be approximately around three to four rings. I would honestly stretch out to go with even a little bit less. 
Now we do have a 12 mile per hour. Obviously that will, you know, kind of uh, make it needed more overpower. Use a Centurion, then you don't have to need that much. And I'm a bit scared, you know, if I do hit the great left or something, getting that far up and then rolling to the rough. So we don't need to get that high up on hole number six drive. Second shot, we're just going to play this one for green. And now I'm using max top spin, looking for the second bounce into the rough to just roll out towards the green. First, I'm kind of feeling a bit, you know, tricky, trying to, okay, let's go above the bunker and then roll towards the pin. But that's going to be too difficult in the long run, in my opinion. And it's also going to require that we have a, lo a long drive every single time, which we won't be having. Second bounce into the rough pretty high up and you can see that the ball guideline is showing that we roll uh, over the green but due to the compressed ball guideline with this headwind we will not be rolling through. That's a uh, fact. Maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment and then we're just going to take the shot, get this ball to green, take our eagle and actually one of the few times that we do in master not have an opportunity at all. So in my opinion here if you play left or play right Choose the way that gives you the most secure eagle, that's the most important part. For hole number seven, which is the final of the par fours in this tournament, we're going to play with six bars of top spin, three bar of left spin. Why do we play with six bars? It's because we play with Apocalypse level five. If I would be playing with an Apocalypse six, seven or eight, I would be using seven top spin bars and so I would not use eight or like eight and a half which is apocalypse eight I would still use only seven bars and then we're going to adjust with an apocalypse level five and six half of the white ring sorry half of the blue ring inside the rough there to the right in max distance if you play with apocalypse level seven level eight you let the blue ring be by the rough line then we're going to go one ball of curl left and then you were going to um, go with a slight amount of overpower when it comes to playing with an apocalypse level 5 or level 6. Very, very important. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment. And once again, overpower with a POC 5 and a POC 6. Nothing with a POC 7 or 8. Second shot, we're going to leave ourselves for a medium distance or let's say 75% of a club when it comes to short iron and here I have the Hornet you know for some different reasons so I'm trying to look for the rough bump here but I'm definitely at the wrong spot here and not getting enough uh, what can I say top spin here with my club so the thing that I'm looking for here is to bounce on the fairway and then attack the pin like that and the Thorn would be my favorite club to do this with, but in the end you can play this one with the Hornet as well. The thing that I do like with this approach compared to lay up and play with a long iron, which there is others doing with a very good success, so it's not a bad approach. It's just that I personally feel better playing with a short iron than playing with a long iron from distance. And obviously with the uh, Aurora Ball we then can uh, you know reduce the wind even more and then approach the pin here and we come in very very nicely we just missed that on the right hand side minus 10 percent is what i'm playing as elevation here for hole number seven second shot For the loss of the par threes, we are going to play with the quarterback and again with an Aurora, a turkey or an arrow or maybe a rugby ball. We're using one backspin, one right spin and then the top of the red ring being just where the rough ends combined with then the ball guideline to the hole. That is two very important key elements. And then here, when you do adjust, I would like you to adjust with a 1201 pull angle. And I think that's going to be the thing that makes you make, make you make that drop and not miss it. We're going to adjust for minimum distance, power two ball setting with no elevation whatsoever. And we want the ball to get pushed into that right side of the green and then fall back down towards the pin. There's plenty of different alternatives for hole number eight out there and this is one of them. Choose the one that you feel the most comfortable with. Boom!
For hole number 9 we are going to go full blast down the middle and that's uh, something we're gonna do with whatever driver we are having but preferably playing with Apocalypse level 5 plus. 4.5 bar topspin is what we're playing with here with 14.8 mile per hour at just maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment we are using max side spin to the right as well, max overpower we are getting and then you're going to notice that the ball is gonna bounce go over and we're gonna roll to a very nice distance obviously we are maybe a little bit too much top spin there based on the fact that if we do hit perfect we're gonna get a little bit more distance second shot now we're going to play um a power slice and a power slice here is is not easy i'm not gonna lie i do think that i make a mistake here using right side spin here on my shot because that right side spin would put the bunker in danger. The thing that I'm going for here in terms of rings, that I'm trying to go around 18 to 20 rings with Cataclysm level 6 and 5, 22 with Cat 7, and then 25 with Cat 8. Trying to give myself a lot of room for error here. And the only thing that I'm looking for is to get it green somewhere. And if I could be on the frame somewhere, then that's fine. But you can see how hot we came in. And we're still going to have a very nice and easy putt for the eagle. And that's the only thing that counts for hole number 9. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough for Master Division in the St. Patrick's Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And this tournament is going to be a bit fun because it's way harder than the last one in my opinion. Make sure that you comment in the comment section below. If you do have any questions, go to golfclash.com for more Golf Clash related content. Also, get the guides on patreon.com slash golfclash. Tommy, link in the description down below. Good luck in the tournament.